beauty. I've always found it to be a fickle concept, constantly changing, evolving, according to what others deem pleasing. But like a hungry child, eagerly reaching out for different assortments of candy, I can't help but try to fulfill the different versions of beauty extended towards me. It seems there are many distinct puzzle pieces to being beautiful, all fragmented to create a shattered illusion. Baba says that to be a beautiful woman, you must tend to your responsibilities. Perhaps in a world where the value given to women was not intrinsically linked with the purpose they serve to others, I could be free of the shackles I felt bound under. My family values tradition above all else. It's a constant cacophony of voices telling me what to wear and how to present myself. All of these aspects boiling down to me being desirable. A desirable daughter, a desirable wife, or better yet, a desirable housewife. My mother has been conditioned to have certain beliefs her entire life, and now she imposes those same beliefs upon me like a perpetual cycle. I dread going to family gatherings because I know every woman there will repeat the same derogatory comments about my skin to me. Sometimes it seems as though colorism has spread through people's minds like a vice. My father often complains about me not knowing how to cook or clean, claiming an attractive wife must do these things. Each time I try to argue, he adds on how no man would want a wife with an attitude like mine. All I can remember now is the rejection when I fail to be what my parents want, and the screams when I am anything but the perfection that they seek. Things only become more confusing when my friends expect something different from me. Defying the rules my family raised me with. They ask why my shirt is so baggy, why my pants are so big. While my father tells me to dress traditionally, my friends tell me to be less modest, less like a prude. Wanting to be accepted feels like I'm scratching an open wound that refuses to close. While with my family, I'm forced to second-guess my supposed abilities as a housewife. With my friends, I second-guess my every action, not wanting to be found unattractive. Everyone around me has an idea of what a beautiful woman should be. I've lost count of all the reflections I've tried to imitate. My very existence is gauged, with freedom just beyond my reach, sweet and tantalizing. Somewhere along the way, I've lost my sense of self, watching it drift away from me. Beauty is something everyone strives for, to see and to be seen. We crave it at our lowest, stood in front of the mirror, and our highest, clutched in the arms of love. Maybe beauty isn't as fickle as I believed it to be, but it is free and soaring. When I was younger, I wanted to be beautiful, but I never wanted to chase that beauty to a place that would bring me so much ache. I listened too attentively to what everyone around me was saying, to think about it myself. Beauty doesn't have to be thin and fair-skinned. It manifests itself in all shapes, sizes, and colors. A layer has been formed over my eyes, and when I begin to strip it back, I see pieces of myself that had always been there. Places that had always had names, details that had been cherished. When I was younger, I remember viewing the world around me through a different lens. I saw beauty as something that came from within and made its presence known. I saw it in the open mouth, loud laughter that would escape my mother's lips. I saw it in the way my khala would treat children, full of respect and kindness. But more than that, 
I saw it in the soft words of my favorite cousin, who always had a smile on her face. By reducing beauty to physical features, I've stopped myself from exploring what it means when people are beautiful from within. The glow that sticks to them like a second skin. I realize beauty is not limited to our attributes or to be dictated by social pressures. It is embedded in our very beings and exists in everything around us. Beauty was here all along, in my compassion, my love, and my identity.